this is the beginning of part one. Does your name have any special meaning? Honestly, there's no one who told me about the special meaning of my name. But I know that each child is, is insignificant as well as bright and, and a penis uh, to every parent. Two, is your name crucial to you? Uh, I think names are not just crucial, but also a means of identification uh, that helps people to connect uh, with others. Yeah. Three. What kind of person are you? Uh, to be honest, I'm not really uh, friendly because uh, I really don't want to have a new relationship to others because I'm not. I don't know how to treat others well. Four. What are your strong and weak points? First of all, I'm really easy to get angry or gel or gel on someone because I'm not a person who are patient. So, all person. Huh? Five. Where are you from? I'm from Taiwan, which is uh, a small land in the north of Vietnam. Six. Do you like your hometown? Why? Mm, uh, just because of, uh, I really do love my hometown because it contains many memories and my joyful memories as well. Um, and I have many friends in my hometown. Um, and also my first my, my first friend and my first best friends too. Seven. Why are you leaving now? Now I'm leaving in Taiwan City. In Taiwan City. Uh, but in the past I lived in an old apartment. But it is too far from my school and it's not convenient to go to work. I decided to move to here for convenience. Okay. Hey, can you tell me about your hometown? My hometown is a small city uh, in the north of Vietnam. And there's, there is a most popular drink in Vietnam. Uh, people come here. People come. People come here to enjoy enjoy some tea. But uh, and people here are, are some some people here are friendly, but some are not. Uh, but that's don't make people. That doesn't make people to want to come uh, come here because uh, because of my hometown's beauty. Okay, this is the end of part one. Part two. Can you describe a family member that you like most? I think it's difficult for me to choose a family I like most uh, because I genuinely, love, I genuinely love all my family members. And however, if I had to choose one uh, member in my family, I think it was my mother. She's getting close to uh, 46 years old. But she still has an amazing sense of humor. Every morning, uh, she goes for a walk with my dad before returning to home for breakfast. Mm, which is the, which is one of the reasons why she looks younger than than her age. Mm, my mother is a police officer, and sometimes she she has to work overnight uh, to finish uh, her. For reports, uh, so uh, my brother always uh, complain, complain this because uh, he has to go to school in the morning. Uh, however, I had, I had explained, explained this to my brother. Uh, he still argues with my mother on weekends. Uh, she always buys some fast food. Which food we like most? My brother, my brother and I always uh, 
I'll make some cookies and cakes for my mom when we have when we have a party. That's why I meet her, admire her. This is the end of part two. Part three. One. Why do people in the hometown have a strong relationship with their hometown? Um, I think um, because that's where that's that is where they were born and grew up, and they are really familiar with people and views here, um, and they has a lot of friends and memories about their hometown. So I think it's easily to. Understand why people have a strong relation, strong bond, or strong relationship to the hometown. Okay. Two. What will you do to improve your hometown? Uh, I think the only uh, problem in the hometown is the traffic jam. Uh, every day I go to school, I always stuck in traffic jam. And. The roads of this year are really bumpy, so yeah, I had fall fall off my <coughs> on my way to school. And if I can improve my hometown, the first the first thing like, I will improve is the road. Yeah. Three. Let's say there's a person who just wants to stay forever in his or her hometown. What do you think about it? I think people can easily connect to others in their hometown because they were really familiar to their hometown. And hometowns, uh, I think, can make them be com comfortable. Um, so they don't want to leave their hometown for the rest of their life uh, and go away. But I think it's not a good idea to live forever in their hometown. Four. How does your hometown affect to your personality? Um, this is an interesting question. Naturally, hometown where you met your, your first friend, your first best friend, or something, or something else, um, or something else familiar to with you. Um, but your hometown, uh, there are a few uh, children that you want to play. That you want, to, that you want to play, and there is a low chance, chances to improve yourself. Five. Will people have the same hometown and have the same thinking way? Honestly, I think that is possible. That is not possible because people. One or two more, or not more than two, same thing in ways. And I think it also depends on your heredity, because uh, each family have have a real heredity. And so it's easy possible that people in the same hometown have the same thing in ways. This is the end of part three.